Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So today we sold uh, one thing on eBay and one thing on TCG Player. So just going to give you guys a brief update as to what's going on. So I had a deactivated TCG Player account, but now it is reactive again, but now I have zero sales. So uh, the first sale on my account is going to be this uh, Galadade. I think that's how you pronounce this, uh, V. So this is something that I just uh, unboxed from a lost origin uh, ETB and I had it listed for $2.99 just to have uh, the lowest listing plus 99 cents shipping so my order amount was um, $3.98 and I actually have a piece of paper here so uh, TCG player took out a fee of 82 cents and it's costing me 90 cents to ship because I overpaid for uh, stamps bought some a book of stamps at UPS and it actually calculated to like 70 cents per so not doing that again uh, Going to be buying them at the post office moving forward, but uh, that netted me two dollars and 46 cents for uh, this sale. So It's already in a penny sleeve. I'm just gonna throw this in a top loader here Just like so and excuse the noise here. And gonna throw on some painter's tape. As soon as I get a little bit of tape going here. Okay, so yeah, like I said, you don't need much, just a little bit, little little sliver of tape just to ensure that it is actually going to stay on there. And just like that. And I'm going to throw it in a team bag just to try to keep it safe from uh, the elements during transit and just going to move the seal on the back here just like that and going to be securing this as firm as I can as tight as I can so that's why I'm setting it down better than just doing it in the air there we go and just like that we have a single Pokemon card uh, very securely packaged again all of my uh, shipping uh, stuff will be in the description below feel free to check that out and I also printed out uh, the invoice here so I'm just gonna wrap it up uh, within the invoice and let's do that and let's add some painters tape as well itself and the Pokemon card going to I think I could just can I just fold it in half or do I have to fold it in like thirds in a weird like that and that card is gonna be pretty secure going to give this a lick here Okay, secure that nice and tight. Let's see here. I'll probably go throw some uh, packing tape on here, uh, obviously, because look, it's already, hold on. Coming off there, there we go. Licked it a little better. Still gonna, still gonna tape that down, hold on. Gotta get my handy dandy tape gun. Okay, tape it down, just like that. Tape it down once again. Okay, so now they have my fingerprints, so hopefully they don't do anything too illegal with that. Okay. So now all I have to do is uh, write my return address at the top, and uh, I, the invoice that I printed out actually has like the person's address, so I'll probably just tape that on here. Uh, and there we go, that is good to ship. So that is my order for TCG Player. So what sold on eBay? Let me just... Uh, gather myself here. Okay, so what's sold on eBay is Guitar Hero 3 on the Wii. So pulling up uh, my order here on eBay. Okay, so I had this listed for $24.99 free ship because I was just comparing a couple of comps and uh, that was pretty much in line with what they're doing on their comps and or on their listings. And I was just thinking to myself, okay, I'll probably sell faster if it had like free shipping because I was seeing like some listings for like 19 18 dollars and they charge the buyer shipping so I was like why not just round it up to 20 24.99 with free ship so it was 24.99 they also charged the buyer sales tax at two dollars and six cents so my order total was 27 dollars and five cents and obviously they took away the sales tax once again um, I wonder if you guys could actually see this let's see bring it up closer to the screen okay 
So yeah, they collected the sales tax, $2.06. Uh, in transaction fees, I got charged uh, $3.88. My shipping label cost me $4.24. Uh, ad fee, which was $1.35, basically just uh, to move my listing up higher in the search results. So my net for this order was $15.52. So yeah, that's what uh, that is looking like. And um, I actually now have a relationship with a supplier. So they're supplying me uh, with games. I'm getting uh, paid like a flat rate in addition to a percentage of the sale. So gonna be pretty sweet. Hopefully gonna be a lot easier to get inventory uh, for video games moving forward thus more videos so yep just sold this single single game here going to unpack it in a bubble mailer and when i weighed this it weighed a little over uh four ounces so it didn't fall under the under four ounces category had to bump up to the eight ounce category which costs a little bit more uh but rather just be safe with shipping than you know have it get sent back and have to pay double for shipping that would not be pleasant so okay so just put it in there I'm going to take the adhesive protector off and just going to securely eat that okay and at this point i already uh printed out the shipping label uh, with my four by six thermal printer so i'm just going to slap the label on just like that and like I said, for the Pokemon card from TCG player, uh, going to be adding a stamp at the top, address, return address. And that is, is my orders for today. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later.